Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another week's Excel Curation Corner. In this video, I share with you awesome Excel or Excel related content that I found around the web during this during the week. Now this week I found some really, really golden nuggets that I can't wait to share with you. I hope I have something for everybody at every skill level that there is. But before we do get stuck into this video, this is going to be the last Curation Corner video of 2020. Now I know it's only the end of November, but next week is December and December does be a totally crazy month for me. So I will be back in the new year with a new series of the Excel Curation Corner. So what content am I going to share with you today? Well, the first piece of content is basically a resource, an awesome, awesome resource. And this is from John on Excel Campus, and it is an Excel keyboard shortcut list. Now I know there's loads of lists available, but this list is laid out really, really well. Now there's a PDF that you can download, so do go ahead and download the PDF and stick it somewhere really, really handy, stick it at view, and start using keyboard shortcuts to make yourself more efficient in Excel. Keyboard shortcuts can really help save you time. So the shortcuts for everything in here, and it goes through the shortcuts for Windows, Mac, and Web, because they can actually differ. So hop over, I will drop a link below this video and show a little bit of appreciation to Excel Campus for that really, really awesome resource. The second piece of content that I want to share with you today is the Spreadsheet Guru. And this is a post from Chris that is shows you how to create a VBA code to save as picture in Excel. Now, saving this picture means saving it as the likes of a PNG or a JPEG type file inside of Excel. And originally when he was going about this, he thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was. Now, there's some very interesting stuff in here in the mythology and stuff. And I didn't know, and he does actually mention that many people don't know that charts can be actually stored as shapes and objects inside of them. So... There's some quite interesting details in this post, but then it goes through the details and the actual code. Now, I don't know VBA, so if I want to do anything that requires VBA, I need posts like this. They are so, so important to the likes of myself and I'm sure many others out there. So that is a great little code that will show you how to save things as a as an image from Excel. So it goes through saving ranges, it goes through and it goes through saving um, a shape as a PNG. Now the next piece of content that I want to share with you today is from Oakley Turvey and it is Power Query Mend or Append Speed Testing. Now Oakley always comes up with these um, really insightful things about how Excel works and the background of it and the background of Power Query and he figures it out by doing these type of tests. Now not only was the test and the test results interesting but there was also some other tips um, that I picked up on his data transformations while watching this video and learning data transformations and different ways of doing things in Power Query is really practice and watching and learning from what others are doing. Now, it is a little bit advanced, um, but if you're getting yourself stuck into Power Query, this is definitely a very interesting video to watch. So I will drop a link below this video. Do hop over and show a little bit of support to Oakley. In the next piece of content that I want to share is a really, really short, quick tip. Now, this is a gem. This is something that I can't wait to try out. This is Mr. Excel, and it is to perform a sentiment analysis in Excel. And there's basically an add-in that's available that you can just turn on and run a quick sentiment analysis on some text, which I think is really, really interesting and brings out loads of possibilities and it's something that I can't wait to try. Like a lot of things that I have found in the curation corner over the last couple of months that I've put aside and I've made a list of things that I want to try and I'm hoping 
during the month of December while I'm not doing the creation corner. I'll get to try some of these and this is definitely on my list. Now the last thing that I want to share with you today is from David LeBlanc. Now more than a piece of content, this is a piece of fun for anybody that it is interested and it is Blackjack in Excel and it's done by VBA. Now there's no post, there is nothing except for the actual code. So the code is all here. You can see the code is available to copy and paste, but there is also a file to download. So if you're looking for a little bit of fun over Christmas and you are in work, maybe you want to play blackjack in Excel, but don't tell the boss I said that. So that's it for this week's Excel Curation Corner. That's it for the Excel Curation Corner in 2020. Thank you to everybody that's shown the support for this series so far. I will be back. And thank you to all of the content curators that are pushing out amazing content on Excel, on Excel Power Tools, on data visualizations, on charts, on all of this stuff. These are all amazing. Thank you so much for great content in 2020. So now it is over to you. What piece of content did you find of value? Was it something that I shared today or was it something that you read yourself? or maybe even watched, please do drop a link below in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do hope that you will do so now and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I also hope that you will share this video across your social networks. So until next time, take it easy and goodbye now.